Hi everybody, it's so good to see you. This is Katie and Lincoln. And we are here today to talk about Pentecost. We're so glad to be here with you today. So I have an interesting package with me and I want you to tell me, Lincoln, what does this remind you of? A birthday. A birthday? Oh, so like a I birthday wonder, party. you're right. We're gonna be talking about someone's birthday maybe. Well, kind of a birthday, but we'll see how it goes. What are some things that you like to do at birthday parties? Hmm. I like to eat cake and play. And play and have games, right? And talk with your friends? Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, so we're going to look and see what's inside our bag to help us know what we're going to celebrate today. Okay, so let's see. What do you think this is? It looks like a torch. Oh, a torch. Oh, yeah, look, it has the flames coming out of there. Oh, okay. Let's see. I wonder, do you use, do we have flames at birthday parties sometimes? Sometimes, right? On the cakes? Okay, in this color, what does this color remind you of? It's red. Fire. Fire. And look, you're wearing red and I'm wearing orange. Oh, it's kind of like the colors in our torch and our fire. Okay, let's see what else we have in my bag. Okay, I have something else in here. What's oh, loud? Ooh, what is this? A card? No. And what is making it make the noise? Mm, wind? The wind is blowing it. Oh, the wind. Let's see it go. Oh, and I can hear the wind because it's moving the chimes. Okay, wow. So those are some clues today about where, what we are going to talk about with Pentecost today. So today we're going to talk about Pentecost, and it's really about the church's birthday. So Jesus had promised the disciples that he would send them a special present and that they would share the news of the gospel. Well, this time, the, God, the disciples, they were waiting together in a special room because they knew that Jesus had said that he would be sending them a special gift. You want to hold this for us? So sure. this paper here says, <clears throat> the apostles were gathered together in a room. Now, the apostles were just hanging out in there. They were waiting for the special gift. They had no idea what it was, but they were waiting because Jesus had told them to wait. Well, there were so many people in town in Jerusalem at this time because there was a special festival and the festival was called the festival of the feast of weeks or the feast of tabernacles. This was an important time in the Jewish community. They were all supposed to come from all different places and they were supposed to come back and celebrate this feast of tabernacles. Well, they were supposed to come back and honor everything. So there were so many people inside Jerusalem, all from different places and they all spoke different languages and the disciples were just patiently waiting inside this room, waiting for that gift that Jesus had said they would bring. <laughs> then all of a sudden, something came. What was it? Can you read it for us? And suddenly they heard a sound like a huge wind. A huge wind? That reminds me of our cardinal, that the wind comes and it blows. And we had the wind blowing and it was coming. And all of a sudden, after the wind blew, something came throughout the room. Are you ready? Okay, read the next one. Flames of fire then came and rested over each of the apostles' heads. Flames came on top of each of the apostles' heads. So we're gonna pretend. Do you wanna put your torch? No. Pretend <laughs> like it's on your head. So they had a flame. Can you see my little flame? They had a flame on top of their head. Here, let me try it on yours, like this, except theirs wasn't on a candle. It was the real flame, the real flame right there of God. It came, but this wasn't a flame that was gonna burn their hair, and it wasn't a flame that was gonna burn their clothes. It wasn't gonna do anything like that. It was the meaning that God was present. The Holy kind Spirit. Kind of like, you're right, when we talk about God and we talk about fire, we know that fire came to visit Elijah, by the fire from heaven, and we know that there was fire when we had the burning bush from Moses, and also the fire now represents the Holy Spirit. So when they had this special fire, this special flame on top of their head, it really was the Holy Spirit was there. Now, the Holy Spirit is kind of a special go-between. It's a spirit that makes all things possible. Sometimes maybe we don't know what to say or how to pray, and the Holy Spirit is the thing that comes and helps us with that. Well, the Holy Spirit came directly to the disciples. And remember, that's where it came on top of their heads, just like this. Okay, let's see what happens next. I think that that flame 
was the special present that Jesus had promised to the disciples. Same. That's what they'd been waiting for. And look, that's the next page we have. All, it says, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. All of the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. And so another amazing thing happened. So let's see. They were sitting in their room. The wind came through. Whoosh. And then they had the flame on top of their head. Oh, I better put it back so you can remember. They had the flame on top of their head. That's the Holy Spirit. And then all of a sudden, the next thing that happened was... Next, the apostles began to speak in many different languages. The apostles began to speak in different languages. Languages they didn't even know. Languages they might not have even oh. ever heard. So here you can see this man is saying God. And this man is saying... Dios. Dios, which is God in Spanish. And so when you think about it, they all started talking these different languages. And they were trying to tell each other, did you see that? I can't believe it. You have a flame on your head. No, I have one on my head. <gasps> You're speaking in different languages. But then they realized they weren't all speaking the same language, which was so interesting. And they all were so eager to go tell everyone else all about what they had seen and what they had heard. And so here's our next page. It says, People were amazed when they heard the apostles talking about God in their own language. That's right, because remember all the people who came to Jerusalem from their homes that all spoke different languages? Well, these apostles, the disciples, they came out and they were speaking in languages that people in the streets actually knew. Languages that they had from their home. And so they were excited to be able to hear that and go, wait a second, how do they know what I can learn and what I can understand? So... As soon as the disciples and the apostles went outside and they started sharing that, here's our last page. After this, the apostles went out and told everyone about the good news of Jesus. That's right. Paul went out and he started preaching to everybody. And he said, you are going to be so amazed with God's love and the promises that God and Jesus have told us that we have. And so that is what Pentecost is. Pentecost is really the birthday of the church. When Paul and the apostles went out and told everybody all about the good news, then it really meant that all these other people became members of the church. It was the start of an amazing way that God allows us to serve one another. And that's really the exciting, exciting part. Once we're kind of on fire, here, so your fire. Once we're kind of on fire, that's kind of like God inside of us. That's the Holy Spirit inside of us. And we can share that love and that spirit with others. So that's what we need to remember at Pentecost. It's the birth of the church. And also it's about us being able to share our spirit and, awe, and the Holy Spirit and God's love all the way with other people as much as we can. So I have a special activity you can do at home to practice and to kind of think about Pentecost. And what you can do is you can light a candle together with your family. And you can think about how God is using your light in your life to share with others and to share the love of Jesus Christ and God. So sit quietly, maybe even for just a moment, and think, how is the Holy Spirit guiding you in your life? What do you see around you? Do you feel the wind? Do you hear the birds chirping? What do you feel and what do you see that God is sharing with us? So let's say a quick prayer before we go. Can you help me say a prayer? I'll say it. Or do you want to read it with me? Okay. Here, let's read together. Dear God, Thank you for your word, the Bible. Thank you for your church. I am glad I am a part of your family. Help me to share your love and tell others about Jesus. I love you, God, and thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today.